So if you've ever wanted to farm Dungeoneering tokens, it just became a whole lot easier, especially for solo players. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. I'm making this video because I know there are and will be plenty of players that do not yet have all the Dungeoneering unlocks and are looking to get those unlocked at some point. Now if they know it exists, they were probably planning to do this for Elite Dungeon 1 token farming, which as you all know is a lot faster in groups than in solos. Well what if I told you that this method doesn't require group at all and could easily be more accessible than the Elite Dungeon 1 method, as you don't need to kill as many mobs before you get to the mini bosses that you're going to be farming. So what is this method you speak of, Protox? Well, this is a new token farming method, which can be done at Elite Dungeon 4, also known as the Zamorakian Undercity. All you need to do is clear one group of mobs, walk like 20 or 30 meters, and kill the mini boss known as Cerberus Juvenile, which will provide you with 5,000 Dungeoneering tokens, every single time. You just want to be sure that no mobs are following you, especially not this Chaos Witch Mender, which will actually heal the mini boss, so be sure to take her out. If you have Bladed Dive unlocked, you can also skip the first set of mobs by aligning yourself to the objects next to the building, like so. Once aligned, surge and immediately use Bladed Dive to the right to get teleported there without aggroing the mobs. The only mob you have to kill off if you do it like this is the Mender. Now the mini boss itself can be really dangerous if you're not a high level player, which is why I'm showing you this safe spot right outside of the door. As long as you stand here, not inside the actual door frame, you'll be completely safe from this mini boss because it is too large to enter through the door frame. As the distance between you and the mini boss is one tile, you'll be able to utilize scythe and halber type weapons for melee when using this safe spot, meaning you'll still be able to attack the boss while the boss cannot attack you. Now the only downside to this safe spot is that you'll be dealing less damage to the Cerberus mini boss because it has a special effect where the further you stand away from it, the less damage you'll deal. You will also notice that if you're standing so far away from the boss, your bleeds won't even hit at all because they deal so little damage. Now you can absolutely take on the boss in melee distance to speed up your kills, but be warned, the boss deals a lot of rapid melee damage and poisons you and really just deals a lot of damage. Using Devotion and Debilitate can reduce this damage and make it easier though. Having access to a set of magic tank armor like Ganodermic or Sea Singers and the anime Dead Spell unlock from the City of St. Distant Quest will make this method even easier. Plus one if you have Enhanced Devoted 4 in your gear because that will help you even more. But of course, this isn't required, you can simply use the safe spot and take it easy. So how many tokens can you expect per hour here? Well, if you do run in 1.5 minutes, which is really only going to be high level players, you'll be getting 200,000 Dungeoneering tokens per hour. If you can do it in two minutes, you'll be able to get 150,000 Dungeoneering tokens per hour, which is still very, very good. Now using a budget setup with a Sun Spear and some Subjugation Armor, it took me anywhere from three to four minutes to finish my run, which is 75 to 100,000 Dungeoneering tokens per hour. This method is easier, more straightforward, requires less resetting, and is likely a good bit faster in terms of tokens per hour. And no, you shouldn't be doing this in story mode because you'll only get 500 tokens for the mini boss, and doing it with another player is probably a waste of your time unless that player is better or has better gear than you because the HP simply doubles. So for those who want to farm some Dungeoneering tokens, this is the way. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.